Hello, I've returned again. Boy, this full moon and blue moon in Aquarius is sure ratcheting me up. I hope it's not making y'all crazy or anything like that. Um, but it is. It's making everybody a little howdy doody and all over the map and whatever else. Look, uh, tonight I wanted to come here and discuss something that bugs me a lot. And it's not pointed out at any one person or any one of my clients or anything like that. It's just something that I've observed. So please take this as a reader, you know, observing and giving feedback. Okay? No one's meant to get butthurt over this. But someone will. I'll, I'll get an email about it. I'll let you know right now I don't come on this one very often. I spend most of my time on my other one. But like I said, I'm trying to keep the two the two separate. One for just talking about stuff like this. Others for spiritual stuff. So, reader hopping. Reader surfing, as I like to call it. Okay? It's when you go from one reader to the next asking the same damn question over and over and over and over and over and over and over again and you become what I refer to as the broken record client. I know, I know, it sounds harsh and it sounds mean, but let me tell you why I need to discuss this. Okay? Because... Take a drag off there first. Let me tell you why because we need patience. Y'all out there that come for readings, y'all that go out there and get readings from me or other people, and whatever, that's fine, that's great. Have at it. No one's stopping you. But I'm going to let you know, it's, it's, you do a disservice to yourself when you jump from one, or the, from one reader to the next, asking the same question. Because generally, nine times out of ten, you're going to get the same answer because they're reading that same energy. Now, if you were to wait a, like two weeks, maybe even a month, they would be reading a different type of energy. You know what I mean? Because that energy is different now. It had time to take, you know, you had time to take action on that energy. You had time to, to, um, nurture it if need be, or remove it if need be. You had time to do something with that feedback, with that, with that reading that was given to you. So, like I'm saying here, it doesn't serve you any greater purpose, it doesn't help you at all to, to go out and, and just jump from one reader to the next, asking the same question and getting the same answer. Because I've seen it. And they'll go from one free group to the next, or whatever, and they will ask the same question in hopes of getting either A, a different answer, or B, confirmation. And, you know, that doesn't do you a service. Actually, it's kind of even insulting to the reader. I'm just saying. It's saying to the reader, when they come across it, that you don't respect the work that they did for you, in a sense. So, my hope is that, you know, you take this under consideration, that you, you look at the reading that was given to you, and you try and at least implement, or look at the advice, evaluate it, and try and take some action upon it, on the interim between readings. That's the point. You shouldn't come and be using readings as a crutch. I have no problem talking to you. I mean, I have clients that will call and have readings with me every two weeks just to talk. Okay, and that's fine. And I, half the time, I can't even get a word in edgewise. And I love it. They say it's cheaper than, than therapy. Cool. I'm down with it. But my point is, though, use, get, they, they're putting time between readings. They're putting time between, you know, getting assistance and 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 taking action. 
And that's what needs to happen. What needs to happen when you do reading is you get your reading, you get your, you know, you take it back home, or you get your, your recording device, which is always important, and or your notes, and then you go back home, you evaluate, you look over, okay, that works, you know, mm, great. And then you make a game plan on what to do next, and then you follow through, and then if you need to, you come back. That's how it works. No difference in life. I understand some people get hung up on things, and that's fine. That's cool. I get hung up on things, too. But please take that time to give the reader that courtesy. Please give that time to give them that respect to, to understand what they said, evaluate it, and give it more than two minutes before you throw it out the baby with the bathwater. Okay? That's all I have to say. Thank you. Have a wonderful night. Blessings to you all. I send you my love and devotion.